Hello, Sim the World here, continuing our series in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at this. This car doesn't look too bad. Uh, maybe a little brake job here, but is that going to be it? Absolutely not. So our customer says, hello, what can I say? Those used car dealers are a special kind. My crown, which I recently got from one of those clowns, is becoming worse with each passing day. Do a general inspection or replace out any worn parts. And we must change the oil. Okay. So, it's, it's a longer part list. Let's pop the hood, and as we can see, yeah, the engine bay doesn't look too great. The exhaust system actually doesn't look great either. Always check that fuel uh, fuel pump in the back. That looks rusted out. That's an easy one to forget. So I think let's get the car on the lifter and take a look. So this this is a four cylinder car. Uh, we're going to be doing the brake jobs too, so we got to get rid of the tires. It seems like the first thing to do. And let me, let's just take a look here. Are the pads bad? Oh, okay, so those aren't bad. Let's check the caliper while I'm here. Fine. That isn't something we're gonna need to uh, take out, but we do still need to take the front tires off. Let's check over here just to be safe. Never know, maybe they sneak one in on us. Not this time. Let's see if I can't examine these parts too. Oh, well, I lied. My bad. I thought we were going to be doing brakes. Get rid of that fuel pump, that rear muffler exhaust pipe and middle muffler and catalytic converter oh wow we got a lot so i'm gonna go ahead and let's do some part picking exhaust pipe we need the middle muffler which i have gone and passed and we need the rear muffler if we can't find that somewhere hidden in this mess of parts. That is the one nice thing about this game. They do have a plethora of parts to choose from. You know what? I Let's get that fuel pump over here. No reason not to. I don't think there's going to be a lot of work underneath the car. So if we can replace everything now, it'd be less to have to do later. At least I hope there's not much more. I'm not looking too hard quite yet. No, hopefully no hidden bushings somewhere. Uh, all right, so that should, you know what? I should have changed the, uh, drained the oil. I'm gonna lift that back up. Move that over and we'll drain the oil. That way we can be ready when we need to. I wouldn't be surprised if we need to replace pistons because this engine does not look good. Will it let me do it? Yeah, it will. We can do a compression test without the oil. Not sure if that's a real thing or not. Yeah, we do have to replace the pistons. Uh, the rings are good. Maybe, oh, uh, we gotta take the crankshaft out. Yeah, this whole engine's coming out. In fact, a lot of these parts are looking pretty rough. Let's see, how's the fan? The fan and housing were fine. So we'll keep both of those in the car. It's one of those issues of 
The parts look bad. Yeah, the battery's bad. Ooh, that gives us a chance. We can put that on the charger. Let that charge while we're doing the rest of the repairs. Yeah, I still don't know why you don't get a battery charger at the start of the game. Feels like a very basic tool that should come with the shop. Should have some way to just plug it in. I'll make sure that, yeah, I want to make sure that the cover is fine. Let's go ahead and, is this a turbo? Yeah, we got a turbo in here, so we'll remove that. That does look bad, too. Well, let's strip this engine down and see if we can't find all the issues. Start up top. Ignition coils. Yeah, if one of them is bad, we're replacing them all. And it looks like three of them were bad. So the spark plug and ignition coil out of this cylinder was all right. I think that's easy enough to remember, so maybe I won't replace them. Not quite sure yet. We'll see how it goes as we go along. I'd imagine if a real mechanic would replace all four. We've had this conversation before too, where I, where I say I'm not going to, and then it bites me in the ass. So perhaps, perhaps we should suck it up and do it. Last thing I want to do is find that they're missing and we can't complete the order. The same here, look, this cam gear looks fine. This one's bad. Those are easy to mix up. We'll see what we can remember on assembly, that's for sure. And I'm going to finish this up. This is the engine head. I'm gonna pop the pistons off. We gotta get the transmission out. So I'll let you know if I find anything else along the way. All right, so I decided to take the engine out of the vehicle. It seemed a little easier to take care of when I didn't have to lift and lower the car constantly. Oops, need an oil filter, that would help. There we go. Now we can get some work done. Yeah, this engine, after doing that V8 engine last job, this one was a piece of cake. Felt like there was less than half the parts to have to deal with, which is nice. Uh, I did end up deciding to replace both the pistons and the rings. I know the rings, all four were fine. They're like 56% condition. I I just don't feel good about that. A real mechanic wouldn't do that. I don't even think you really could use the old rings. Pretty sure those get pretty messed up when you pull those out. And given how how much tolerance there is when it comes to installing rings, <laughs> you, you I, it'd just be a terrible idea. Correct me if I'm wrong, but using rings, bad idea. All right, let's get up top. Yeah, a lot of these parts did end up needing replaced. All of the, en the engine block, the engine head, the engine head cover too. I also decided all these spark plugs and coils re get replaced. And I know only one of the camshafts and cam gears needed replaced, but unless we have an issue where I put them on the wrong one, I'm not messing around. We are going to make sure we do this right the first time. And I'm sure if somebody had their car this far apart where you pull the engine and it's completely on the floor in pieces, you'd replace those little things too. We 
we don't have too much more to go. Got to get some good camera angles, though. Got to see, got to see the bolts to be able to put them on. One more belt. Wonder how much of this we can get done out of the car. I think, yeah, we can put this on. I, I just don't think we can put the turbo in yet. Okay, yes. Oh, we'll wait on the cover, we'll wait on the cover. Let's get this off the stand and in the car. He's gonna have a brand new engine. That's gonna be, uh, he should hopefully be happy. I need an air filter. I do actually want to put the exhaust exhaust pipe back in. Yeah, because to install the turbo, this has to be in. And actually to install the starter, the transmission already has to be in, so. I think we might be able just to finish up underneath the car now. Wouldn't that be great? It's been a while since I've been able just to close the hood and be done with the car. But this might be our first job. One last tire. And that should be it for that. Get back under the hood, we'll finish up this. We'll have to fill it with oil. Have to do all these stupid little clips on the air filter cover. I feel like a lot of these these days are latches that just don't come off. Uh, wouldn't that be a nice upgrade if they did that in this game? No more having to worry about the clips or forgetting them but just having latches and they work if only maybe in 2021 we get a new game with some new updates one can only hope Ooh, i forgot we got to go grab that battery too i'm gonna put oil in and we'll go do that real quick hopefully the battery is the last thing we got to do It's a thirsty engine. <laughs> yeah, let's get that battery. The other, another uh, thing I'd like to see in a future game is buying tools. Like, it'd be nice if we had a couple battery chargers closer here. All right, oh, we forgot the throttle. <laughs> Wouldn't have been going very far, would they have? All right, let's see. Did we finish it? That we did. We found all the parts. Everything's replaced. Made ourselves a quick 20 grand. That's a good day. And with that, thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates of future games being played, as well as follow on Twitch as I try to stream three days a week. Thanks, and I'll see you next time at Sim the World.